Greetings, Kindred. I am Voivode Maket, and welcome back to Our World of Darkness and another episode of Level by Level, where in this playlist, we are going through the various abilities and powers of the discipline Auspex, specifically today, the Spirit's Touch. Now, Spirit's Touch is a discipline that has been involved in Vampire the Masquerade since its conception. If there has been Auspex, there has been Spirit's Touch, and the ability to grab onto and hold an item and find out what the last traumatic event was that happened to it has been useful in so many occasions. I know with our friend Doolahan here, if I was to use this on him, him rolling off my desk and shattering would probably be the most traumatic event that he can think of that happens to him. But also he was a gift of a true friend. And there's a good chance that if I was to use that on him with enough successes, I would gain that information as well. The emotional, uh, the emotional buildup from when that gift was given. Now it actually comes to my mind that the Spirit's Touch was also used in the Kindred the Embrace television show. One episode where there had been a murder, the Kindred actually passed a ring of the victim around the Primogen Council's table to try to glean for themselves the information of who the murderer was, being able to pick up that information. Now, that was a very straightforward telling of how, as the Kindred could actually see the person who was committing the murder, but it just actually does not pick up that much information. What it does is it gives you a reading of the surface emotions of the object. The book states, by touching an inanimate object or the ground at a location, the vampire can sense the emotional residue left by those who have handled that object or visited the location in the past. The user gains insight into not only the person, but also what was done and under what circumstances. While rarely crystal clear, the information often provides leads impossible to gain from regular forensics and deduction. So it helps you find clues. It lets you pick up the reasoning behind things, the, the emotional state of the person who's wielding a weapon or high intense feelings that are present in a location. This could actually be used quite well with haunted situations as well. And I can see why the Hikata would be so invested in Auspex as they are. The cost is one Rouse check. The dice pool is intelligence plus Auspex, and that does make a lot of sense because what you're doing is trying to mentally put together all of the different clues that the emotions are giving you at that point in time. So that is going to take and intelligence. Also, I like the fact that a lot of these disciplines have the discipline as the test. In older systems, it would have been an intelligence plus awareness check or something like that, bringing that together. But with the way that this system works, with the discipline itself being part of the pool, it means that the further you are along in practicing the discipline, the better you are at getting answers, not just having the ability of being aware or, or anything like that, or even uh, using a cult or something like that. This primarily focuses on your ability to wield your discipline to be able to get the prime results. The system states, make an intelligence plus aspects roll versus a difficulty depending on the information sought. Gleaning the emotional state of a user of a murder weapon used a few days before is a difficulty of three. But sensing the surroundings in which a 300-year-old letter was written approaches a difficulty of six or higher. Each point of margin on a roll allows the user to sense roughly one additional previous handler and a set of circumstances counting backwards from the most recent. So the better you do, the better you are at getting this allows you to take steps backwards because the idea that those emotions are the only one on an object is not possible. What if an item that was used in a murder has been used on multiple victims? This is information that could very well help you with 
placing blame on someone who has been getting away with crimes for possibly centuries, considering the fact that we're talking about vampires. And being able to accomplish the things that you can by getting the information from Spirit's Touch is a lot better than just hoping you're going to get a confession from a kindred. Having more information is always going to push forward in making it so that things work a little bit fa more in your favor. And the duration is one turn. You really wouldn't want this to last any more than one turn. That again seems like it would be a fun plot line where if somebody who'd used Spirit's Touch got stuck in Spirit's Touch and everything that they touched just automatically gave off all of that psychic residue. So this is a very quick, easy, one-shot discipline that does not take too much in the idea of explanation. So if there is anybody out there who's used Spirit's Touch in more odd ways, I would love to hear about it. Some more inventive uses of the Spirit's Touch is always a good thing to see. So I am Voivode Paquette. This has been Our World of Darkness and Level by Level, and we have just looked into Spirit's Touch. Class dismissed.